What do we got here? Circulated pennies. Hey everyone, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure and we've got a box of pennies to hunt today. I picked up my two box order. Here's one and that's the other one. And we're gonna go through these. I've had a pretty good uh, streak lately on pennies from my two penny box pickup bank. So I'm pretty optimistic. Never know what you're gonna get though. All right, now that you've seen they're circulated, I don't see any enders on this side. We'll be checking the other sides as we go through the rolls. We'll begin with this one and we'll start the hunt now. Second roll in, quick start. We've got a wheat penny. 47D, I'll take that on the board. Roll four, another wheat scent looking right at me. 56D, kind of toasty, but we'll take it. And I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but this one looks a little old. 1959 first year memorial back we'll take it you know i collect them all right guys roll number 10 gonna give us our third week penny second from the end almost an ender 54 d so now we got a 47 d a 54 d you put it the right way and a 56 d well let's look for some more we're on roll 16. I laid him out, I started to hunt him, and then I looked up and I happened to catch a glimpse of a wheat penny back here. Figured I'd grab it now. Uh, 40s or 50s? 1946. Kind of par for the course here, right? Two 40s and two 50s in the box, nothing older than 46. Matter of fact, that is the oldest of the box. Let's keep looking. There's a lot more box left. Roll 17. Facing us is a 47D, I think. Yep, another 47D. Oh, the back's trashed. Wheat Penny. But it makes Wheat Scent number five, and I'm not mad at that. Roll 18, guys. Just finished laying them out, and I caught a glimpse of a Ford. Got a Canadian coin here. 1994. First foreign coin in the box. Roll 25, guys. Spilled out a wheat scent down here. I actually love the patina on the back on it. Yeah, I like that a lot. It's like a mahogany color. It's only a 54D, but I still love the way it looks. The dirt settled perfectly into some of the creases and some of the crevices. Yeah, it's a nice looking wheat scent. Too bad it's not older, but it's a beauty. All right. Let's keep looking. You know what? I got you here, and this could be old. Figured we'd look. It's only a 62. Roll number 36, guys. Gonna have another wheat scent here. 1955D. We'll take it. I think that makes uh, seven wheat scents now in the box. It does. Roll 37. Gonna have wheat scent number eight. 56. Roll number 38. Got a little roll streak in a row. And we've got a wheat scent. Another 56. Roll 41. And we're going to have our 10th weedy of the box. A 53D. It's definitely a 50s box for sure. Although that is our oldest of the 50s. So, nothing really that old. 46 wheat scent is the oldest penny we've got in this box. Roll 43, wheat penny number 11. At least it's an S, but it's another 50s, 51S. Now we've got our oldest 50s again. Nice coverage of years in the 50s. Another box of pennies is down, guys. And you know what? This was more of a quantity over quality, but I'll take it. You got to have some of these boxes as well so you can add to your collection. We ended up getting uh, eight pennies from the 50s, wheat pennies, and three from the 40s. So 11 Wheaties. I mean, you can't get mad at 11 Wheaties. Nothing's really great. There's no reason to show you any of them. None of them are really worth that much, but they're great to hook. go ahead and take a look and see if there's any keepers in here. This uh, 55D is kind of nice. 
It's got some cool toning. I like the way it looks. The back's pretty clean, as you can see. We had one Canadian cent. We had uh, 12 2009s. I got to look at another 659s. Probably a pretty nice 1970S. It's got a little bit of marking on his face, but seriously, the lettering is crisp. Uh, a little bit of wear, but the lettering is crisp. I already like the way it looks. A couple of 69S's I got to check under the microscope. No DDOs as usual. Fair amount of copper, fair amount of fun. We're back at it again with more nickels. And that's how you want to begin a nickel hunt. Circulated nickels. We'll be looking for V-nickels. We'll be looking for... Buffalo Nichols, Early Jeffersons. Early Jeffersons are from 38 through, for me, 59. Most people don't collect a lot of the 50s over 55, but I do. I like them all. We pulling those out, taking a look at them as we go along with the hunt. Hoping to find some key finds in here, but if not, we'll just take some Early Jeffersons if that's all we can get. That being said, let's start this hunt with this roll right here. All right, we're on roll number three and found our first 40s nickel here. 1948, Denver. Roll number eight, guys. Got another 40s nickel here. 1941, is that an S? It is, 41 San Francisco. Roll number 13, got another 40s nickel here. 1949, looks like it's a Philadelphia. It is, but... It's our third 40s nickel already to go along with two 50s. Roll 17, guys, and we've got an excellent discovery here. Boom. It's a buffalo nickel. And it's not facing me, which makes it a little more fun. Can't see if there's a mint mark. It's really worn on the back, which means the chance of the date on this coin is slim to none. You know what? It might have a little bit of a date I can make out. Uh, I'll look at it under the microscope. I think that's just some damage. Maybe it's a 1919. I, I don't know. I'm guessing here by just... What I might see, but this thing has been through the ringers. Look at the word liberty is almost all worn off. But I need to find out what the date is since it's so worn. And the value is pretty much nothing right now. Maybe a dollar. Let me check it for uh, a date and get back to you guys. We're going to use Nicodate on it. All right, everyone. The good news is the Nicodate exposed the date. It is a 1915. You probably can make it out on the screen. There's the 5, the 1, the 9, 1915. The bad news is, some way, somehow, the Nicodate really act, reacted with this coin a lot more than it usually does. And I only had it on there for a few seconds, and uh, I'm not liking the way it came out. So that's a bummer. 1915 Philadelphia. Doesn't look good, but here's, here's the bittersweet ending to it, though, at the same time. Yeah, it looks like crap. It does. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little mad about, I guess the finish just really ate away at it. Because probably because it's so worn and there's not much much of the clad layer left but to any extent regardless we didn't have any 1915 uh, buffalo nickels i don't have the pd or anything so guess what it's our first one it's only going to be a spot holder anyway but it's another buffalo nickel to add to the collection bummer it came out so bad oh well buffalo nickel in the box the one we didn't have let's hunt some more roll number 19 another 40s nickel here 1948 Philadelphia. Roll 26, guys. Check it out. I straightened it up so we could see it better. It's a 39. Is it the 39D? Uh, it's still not the 39D, but you know what? I'll take a 39 all day. Roll 29 is an interesting roll. I just spotted this 49, and after I see an old nickel, I always just peruse up. And I see another 49. So let's grab this one first. 49 Philadelphia. We'll take it. And a second 49 in the same roll. A little better shape too. Another Philadelphia. All right. That'll uh, 
Add to the 40s, uh, nickels already stacking up. Roll 35, and I think I see a few finds. We'll start with the very front one that I just noticed. A 41, Philadelphia. This one looks a little old back here. It's a 55. 55D, we'll check it for the D over S. And I think I saw a Canadian. Yep. 84. Roll 48. Got another 49 nickel. Still another Philadelphia, though. We're finding uh, lots of those. That goes down here. Last roll of the box, roll 50, and it's going to reward me with a 40s nickel. 1940 Philadelphia. While I got you here, just in case, we'll do a quick look to see if there's any other oldies. 67. Nope. I'll get you a wrap up in a second. All right, guys, another box of nickels hunted. Here's what we got to show for it. We got three pretty nice keeper coins. A 63, a 66, and you know what? I know it's only an 84, but guys, this 84, other than a few surface scratches, has not been circulated. That's a 34-year-old nickel. It might even have full steps. I didn't look at that too much, but look at this. That's ridiculous. I'm sure it'll upgrade an 84. Another five 2009s. We actually got six, but one was in such bad shape, I tossed it back. A Canadian nickel. Look at all these 50s. 12. We got a couple of 52s in there, and they, one's a D, so that's good. We got uh, two 54, one's an S. We got 355, two are Ds. We also got a 58, I'm sorry, 57. Two 58s, two 59s, and one's in really great shape. In the 40s, we ended up with another nine of those as well. A 40, two 41s, two 48s, and four 49s. So between these nine and that 12, that's 21 plus a 39P. That's 22 early Jeffersons and a Buffalo nickel, 1915. I had to nick a date it, I know. But you know what? I'd rather know what the date is since I'm building a Buffalo set and now I have a spot to be filled. It's a filler coin, but it'll still fill that spot for now. Hopefully you enjoyed the hunt with me, guys. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and happy hunting.